Hello, welcome back. So today I thought I would make a nice easy project. It's just a very simple thank you card. So as you can see, it's just on a plain bit of card and then I have quilled two elements, the actual flower itself and then the butterfly and then I've got a stamp and then I've got some stick-on diamantes to make the whole thing probably less than half an hour when you get it all together. So let's get started. So all the materials you're going to need for this project, whatever card you're uh, going to stick onto, some glue with a fine applicator, or you can just get normal glue and put it on with a toothpick, a quilling tool, you also don't need a quilling tool, you can just roll the paper yourself, normal tweezers, backwards tweezers, strips of colours you're going to use for the design. Because I'm, I'm going to make two cards, so I'm going to replicate this and do it twice. I'm going to do one that's very similar colouring and one different. I haven't decided what yet. So for this, I thought I'd actually put the stopwatch on so that you can see how long each bit takes. Time is on. So first thing is to get our strips of paper. So we're going to be doing six in total. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get two of the medium pink and one of sort of the dark red. These are going to be our flower petal colours and to turn that into six is all I'm going to do is strip that in half so make sure you find the right side and the wrong side we want to make sure that the wrong side goes in and the right side is what's on the outside and I think with the other one I didn't I think they sort of got a bit too loose, so I'm going to pull these ones a little bit tighter. So they're in, and I'm rolling them away. And I'm actually pulling this quite firm, so I don't want it to uncoil quite as much. I'm going to give it a bit more and let them come loose. And then they'll expand to the size that they're going to expand to naturally. So it just depends on the tension that you're pulling it at. So get the next batch and again I'm going to, oops, get them in right, going to pull these quite firmly, I think I got that one around the wrong way, oopsies. So yeah, one way that I make this go a bit faster is I'm doing three at a time rather than doing each petal individually. So give that a bit of an extra roll, so you can see how much they are going to expand. These one, those three are a bit smaller. So next thing is to glue down the tab. So that's two minutes in. So we've done the six petals so far. So get my backwards tweezers so that these little guys can be glued whilst I'm... So the, the reason I use the backwards tweezers is that the, the, the paper and the glue, they do take quite quickly. Like it, it doesn't take long for it to happen. But it's just, it just saves like a slight bit of time. So right, whilst, whoops, these are out of shot, whoopsies. So whilst they're drying, uh, I don't have to be holding it. So I can be on to the next one. So once you've sort of got the production line down pat, <laughs> it does speed up the process quite a bit, in my opinion. And they absolute, as I said before, they're an absolute game changer, these backwards tweezers. So yeah, the way I do it is I just put the backwards tweezers in the, the last loop just there and at the very end tab so you can see a little bit of glue and just make sure that's in line and then whilst that's like that, that's how it's going to dry. So that's what I'm doing each time. Cool. So those are all drying now. So whilst the glue is still taking, I'm going to do the inside bit of the flower and I'm going to do it quite tight. So I'm just going to quill that up and I'm not going to let it go too much this time. I'm going to, so I've got it in a nice tight ball here. I'm going to let it go a little bit so you can probably heard that a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it there. So you saw before, if you let it go, it'll eventually reach its end point. But this is, I'm definitely holding this a lot tighter. 
and to help the glue take I'm going to stuff the tweezers inside and I'm going to hold it like that while the glue dries. Right, so now what I'll do is the butterfly and I think for this butterfly I might do what colour? Blue petals, blue and purple petals I think. I think what I'll do is the insides will be these shades of blue and the outside will be this purple. That's what I'm going to do. So that's going to be the outline. So I just need one piece of this colour. This is going to be the, the smaller part of the petals. So I only just need one strip. And for this one, it's going to be the bigger petals. Uh, sorry, not petals, the wings. So I'm going to need a full strip here for each wing. So I'll need two strips in total. So first thing to do is... Actually, I'll start... One tool that I didn't tell you about before is this quilling comb. And this comb gives really interesting effects. Um, and you can use it in all different sorts of ways. So this way, what I'm going to be doing is making one of these sort of petals. So I'll show you how this works. So yeah, you can do it in all different types of ways, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to start the process and start in the middle. So I'm going to, so basically all I've done is I've, I've made a little hook and I'm going to put that on the middle. I'm going to go, uh, how do I do this, go around, oh, hang on, I've done that wrong, go this way, hold that in place, there we go, and so, I mean, you don't have to glue it at each point, I just like to, just so that it stays exactly where I have it, so that when it comes off the comb, it's going to hold its shape perfectly, I know it's not going to slide around, so, basically, you just, do a loop on either side and do a dab of glue and always come back to the middle. So like this, and I'm going to use the full length of the paper. Hopefully this reaches back to the middle on the last one. Oh, just look at that. <laughs> so that's the first one, but you can see the glue is still wet inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this down to the bottom and I'm going to do the next one while that's still drying. So the next one, so I'm going to do the same color. So I'm going to make that loop at the beginning again. And I'm going to glue each one. So we're up to eight minutes so far. Not bad, not bad. So the most tricky part and the most time consuming part definitely is just assembling all of the components. And then the fun part is uh, arranging all the components. But yeah, just you just need to get everything ready first. And usually, when when I'm doing this, I've got um, I've got iView on. I've got something. Maybe I've got Netflix or a podcast or I'm watching a YouTube video. Um, so most of my TV watching and podcast listening and general passive consumption of the internet is done whilst I'm assembling quilling components. When it gets to the design part, and I need to use my brain a bit more, <laughs> and I need to concentrate. I, I have that off, but whilst I'm doing these component parts, I, oops, and the timer has gone off, Let's stay awake, all right, so these two are glued and, you know, they're ready to go, but whilst they're still drying, I'm going to move on to the other 
um, butterfly wing. So I'm going to leave these to dry for a little bit. So I'm just going to pop them there. So the next thing, so those, what's drying there is going to be these two. And then what I'm going to do now is these two wings. So I'm going to grab this other shade of blue. I'm going to cut that in half. And I'm just going to quill these away. And make them quite tight. And let them go. And I think, oh no, that's not quite, no. So I'm going to grab the flower centre. That's definitely dried now. It's been sitting there for quite a while. Oops. And I'm going to stick down. So these are going to be the butterfly wings. So I'm going to stick these tabs down and I'm going to shape them in a second. Cool, so I'm going to let them dry for a second. And what I'm going to do, whilst all these components are drying, I'm going to get on to the actual body of the um, butterfly. So I'm actually going to use this long piece of gold so it's I don't know if you can quite see on camera but um, this is kind of goldy color but it's sort, sort of brown as well so I'm going to grab just one full length of this and I'm just going to guess the lengths so what, what we need from this one piece is we need to be able to do I'll do it on the show on here so we need to be able to do the body the head and the antenna so it's all going to come off this one length of paper so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess I'm going to do about that much for the body, the long piece, and then the antenna I'll do about that much. So I'm going to do the head first. So I'm going to quill that one away, and the head is quite tight, so this one again, it doesn't get uh, loosened too much once you finish quilling it. I'm just going to let it go a tiny bit, let that open a slight bit. Pop some glue and I'm gonna pop that in and that's the antenna and then this is going to be the actual body of the butterfly. I realize that my hand covers the paper so you can't really see that I'm quilling it. So this one I am going to let go. So I've, I've quilled the whole circle. So I'm just going to let that go and expand. And let's pop this out of the way for a second. So this one is the fun parts. This is going to be the antenna, this piece of brown. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, fold it in half like that. I'm going to pinch the end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it halfway both, both ends are going to be rolled about halfway in the same direction. So there's the first one and the second one. So it kind of looks like that. So that's the antenna. And so now I'm going to stick down the body. stick that down. All right so while those pieces are drying what I'm going to do is I'm going to start assembly. Actually no we need to do the, the leaves as well. So these two um, this is going to be the last part of the flower. So I'm going to grab two um, lengths of green. So out of these two lengths of green, what we need is we need the leaves and the stem. So to do the leaves, I'm going to grab one. I'm going to cut that in half. I'm going to quill these together. And roll them up. Let them go. And then for the stem, I'm just going to guess really how long it should be, so I'm going to do the stem a little bit longer than that, so maybe about there. 
Dan's going to fold it over a couple of times. And I'm going to put some dabs of glue so that it stays in place. So once I'm happy with how it looks, I think that's about right. Cool. So now I shall do the leaves. And I can't get that in. What's going on? Will I be able to finish it in 20 minutes? I'm not sure. Probably not, I don't think. <laughs> Let's see how we go. All right, so these, almost all our components are ready now. So what we're gonna do next is the butterfly wings. So, actually, no we're not. We're gonna do the body of the butterfly. So I'm just gonna fiddle with where this circle is sitting inside. I want it relatively even. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently pinch down on one side. I'm going to let it go a bit. Then I'm going to hold the center inside again and pinch the other side. But I'm not going to actually pinch the very inside. I'm only going to do the outsides. And there we get the body of the butterfly. Right, so I think what I'll actually do is the flower petals. So I'm going to turn each of these into teardrops. So they're all nice and dry now. And what I'm going to do, you can see where the tab joined. So that's where the glue is and it's the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that is where the point is so that you can't see it on the outside of the petal anywhere. It's nice and smooth and the join is sort of hidden at the point and that's going to go up against the head of the flower. So I'm just going to do that six times to each of the petals, turn them into nice teardrops. And again, when I'm pinching them, I only want to pinch a couple of the top layers. I don't want to pinch all the way down. That's not the effect I'm going for. I still want there to be a nice circle at the bottom. You can see the flower starting to take shape. Probably could have done with another couple of petals. That's all right. All right, and so this will be the stem. So I'll just glue a couple more bits down so it stays nice and sturdy. No, don't want that timer to turn off. Cool, so that's the stem, and obviously I did it too long, but that's okay, because what I'm going to do is give it a bit of a curve and shape it with my nails. Or maybe it is too long. Maybe we'll make a really big curve. Hmm, I think I have actually done it too big. I might have to cut it. So that is top part of the flower. And now we'll do the leaves. So with the leaves, it's the same sort of thing as the petals. So what we want to do first is we want to turn it into a teardrop like that. But then to get it into the leaf shape, we want to sort of hold that, but then kind of go like that. So you're sort of pinching and getting sort of a bit of an S happening, a bit of an elongated S. So that's one leaf. Yeah, and we're at 20 minutes. Well, I did sort of think it would be about half an hour, so that kind of, that's okay. So there's our two leaves. And now for the fun part of the petals, oh, sorry, the, the, the wings of the butterfly. Each, uh, pet, uh, each wing is gonna be covered with this purple. So even though they're two different shades of blue, um, they're going to be they're going to have the same uh, outline. So I'm going to get the elements ready. So I'm just going to put them into nice teardrops, and we're going to grab 
these two, these are definitely dry now, and we're going to shape. So this is how they come off. So we've got this kind of nice, I don't even know what type of shape you'd call that, wings? Kind of look like wings a little bit, I'm not sure. What we're going to do is, we're going to turn it like this. So this is going to be the inside of the wing of the butterfly. So these are going to be the big wings. So I'll just leave that there for a second. And whilst, so that's not going to hold its shape, so it needs the outline to hold it in uh, quick smart. So I'm just going to shape the bottom. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue there to begin with. And that is going to go over the bottom here. Oops. And then I'm going to wrap that round. And it's at this point that I'm going to shape their outline. So I'm going to kind of hold it just like that. So we get that nice. So it kind of looks like a leaf as well. Like if you had like a light green and then dark green on the outside, it's very similar for a leaf. And so what we're going to do is snip off the end bit and just have a little bit of overhang so that I've got somewhere to put the, the glue tab. And again, so there's going to be a join on the outside here. So you can see where that tab is. So we, when we're assembling it, we want to make sure that that tab is hidden. So we want that up against the, the rest of the leaves. Ah, wings. I don't know why I keep calling them leaves. So that's the first wing. And we'll do the same thing again. So we're just going to turn it on out or in rather, depends on your perspective. Let's put a tiny dab of glue. Sorry, I think it doesn't like me filming for that long. <laughs> We're back again. So again, just gonna pinch that there. Oops, I got stuck to my thumb. All right, so they're the two big wings done. So you can see that it's kind of like the light, uh, the deep blue, and then it's outlined in the purple. And so now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the same thing for these wings as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna do, make a little V. I'm gonna dab a bit of glue inside. And I'm going to sit the wing inside there. And so that you can actually see the purple, what I want to do is I don't want it to go too snug. I want to make it just a little bit wider so you can actually see the purple against the green, against the blue rather. So I'll pull it tight and just chuck that bit. Alrighty, so, so I can keep using my hands, I'm just going to hold that in place with the backwards tweezers. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, so again, I'm going to make a little V. Tiny dab of glue. Then I'm going to place the wing inside. And I'm going to wrap the dark purple around. So I'll make it, what I'll do this time actually, I'll make it tight, but I'm going to cut it off a little bit too long. So then I know that that's how far back I need to go so that I can see the purple. That makes sense. I probably did a little bit too much. Oh no, perfect. So I'm going to do a dab of glue. Oopsie daisies. Oh, it's got nothing to grab onto. Very well done. This is why the backwards tweezers are so useful. Alright, so that's sitting in there. So this one should be dry now. Alright.
Alrighty, so we have all our elements. So now is the fun part of assembling it and sticking it down. Oops, that's already stuck. Yeah? Alright, it's getting too fiddly. I'm gonna use the tweezers. Cool. And I've managed to get glue all on the paper. Alrighty. So now I've got two minutes to stick it down to try and get this done within half an hour. Hmm, I don't think so. But we will start. So, first thing to do is to start gluing, really. So I'm just gonna put bits of glue under. And I'm picking it up and putting them down with the tweezers, just cause it's, when they're so fine and delicate, it's hard to kind of see what you're doing when your fingers are so big and you know, the pieces are so delicate, it's just, easier to do it with the tweezers and then you're not going to get glue all over your hands and fingers. Stay alive. I don't know if you can hear that rain outside, but it is bucketing down right now. Perfect cooling weather. Cool. Push that down nice and firm. Alright, now for the flower. So I'm going to start with the inside bit and I've got a petal stuck to it. And I'm going to actually do the stem next. Exciting to be honest, the gluing down part. It's just a process. Cool. So 32 minutes and 45 seconds. Still drying off, but that is the design. Not bad. All right, so almost 33 minutes, clock stopped, and I've just finished the design. <laughs> so assembling all the parts, like doing the wings the way I did using the, the quilling comb, does take a little bit longer but how many components are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen seventeen components in 33 minutes so about two minutes per piece um, but that does include like picking the paper and the colors rolling it gluing it so two minutes per, per piece and that's it's not actually too far off to be honest so now to the fun part of putting on the stamp and the diamantes. So let's get to that and then we'll be done. All right, so I'll put the timer back on. A true representation of how long it takes to make this card. So I've got a box of stamps. So I've got a few different ones, but I'm looking for the thank you stamp. So this is always a bit nerve wracking because I'm worried I'm gonna get ink everywhere down hard enough but not too hard that I get ink everywhere else. Hopefully that's enough. Ah, not quite enough. <laughs> oh dear. You can see there's the, the K in the end. There's a bit of ink missing but I might fix that up with a pen. I don't want to stamp it again because I definitely won't <laughs> line it up properly. Where's the top? 
but that's okay. I think we'll leave that at that. And then the last thing to do, final touches, is to add a couple of dye monties. So I, I, oops, I just lost one. I literally found both the stamp set and these dye monties from, I think it was Big W or Kmart or something, just in the craft section. And I thought they look awesome and they're really cool effect. So I'm gonna start that one about. So I've got some splodges there actually, so I might cover them up with the smaller diamonties because that's the big one. And then these are the medium sized ones. I've got this ink pen, which I'm gonna use <clears throat> to just color in where I didn't quite get enough ink the first time. Cool. I think that is a wrap. Stop the clock. Alrighty, so this was the inspiration piece that I was trying to replicate. Uh, and I didn't replicate it totally exactly, like they're very similar, but so this was the, the one that you, you watched evolve, and this was the one that I did off camera. And you can see just very subtle differences with what I've done. With this one, the flower petals are teardrop shape and they're pointing in. With this one, they're teardrop shape and they're pointing out, so it just gives a slightly different shape to the flower. I think in both cases you'd probably say that they're daisies. And interestingly, for some reason, I chose, I'm just drawn to purple and blue, I don't know why. So I did, this is the blue in here, and then two shades of purple, and then this one is uh, three shades of purple. Uh, this is deep red and a dark pink, and this is bright red and slightly normal red, I guess. But other than that, they're all very uniform. Which one do you like best? And also, which colour combination do you prefer? Let me know. Otherwise, what you can safely take away from today is that a design like this, when you've got everything ready to go, including stamping and including placing the diamantes, I did in 35 minutes or almost 36 minutes. It's definitely not a quick thing. Like you could definitely paint something or draw something a lot quicker than you could quill it. But I, the reason why I'm drawn to quilling is that it does take time, you can't rush this. And if I can get this on camera, if I can line that up. So you can see that it's flat here, but you can see how it comes off the page, like it's 3D off the page. And this is just three mil paper. This is a strip of paper, but that's how thick it is. And that's how far it comes off the page. It's slightly harder to see when it's, when it's on, on camera, but when you actually see it and you can feel it, it's, it is something else, like I think quilling has that really interesting, unique quality, which I'm a very big fan of. And I, I actually really like that it takes a bit of time. I like, you know, listening to podcasts or sometimes I have movies going and it's just on in the background and, you know, I'm taking it in, but I'm, you know, working away at this and I really love that. That is it for today. So here are the three designs. This is the one from before that I designed a while back and these are the, the two new ones. Happy quilling if you decide to do it. Best of luck, see if you can uh, have a timer going and see if you can beat 35 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I shall see you next time. Goodbye.